Fire destroys or sinks more than a dozen boats in Lake Hartwell's Portman Marina. This fire started when a generator backfired, burning the boat owner and then quickly spreading flames mm. down the dock. Today, the cleanup and recovery began around the charred marina. 11 Alive's Christy Etheridge was there as DNR officials assessed the damage. We're getting an exclusive tour of the damage from a DNR boat, and thanks to the sonar on this boat, we could tell one of the boats that floated out here on the lake and sank is in between those two buoys. There's one. It didn't take long for an orange blob to slide across the sonar screen, showing the remains of a boat that was docked at Portman Marina. See how mangled up and burned it is? Oh my gosh. There's almost nothing left. It doesn't look like much now, but this is what it looked like around noon on Monday. And DNR Sergeant Hunter Mize was sitting right in front of it, listening to it crackle as it melted to almost nothing. Could you feel the heat though? Yes, well, I couldn't feel it from the docks because I was a little bit further out, but I could feel, I was sitting right in here on this, on this buoy line right here and I could feel, I could feel the heat from the boat that was directly behind me. His job was to keep people away from the mesmerizing flames and the thick black smoke. People like this who couldn't help but steal a peek. With at least 40 boats in each dock, all full of hundreds of gallons of fuel, Hunter knew it could get bad quick. A big fire like that with fuel on all these, all these boats and all these slips, you'll never know what's getting hot, what might blow up. Today, everything's cooled off, but the cleanup has barely begun. For now, this containment berm is keeping the oil and gas from floating into the lake. It's amazing there wasn't more damage when you see how close these docks are to each other. But whether they recover the boats that sank will be up to the insurance companies. On Lake Hartwell, Christy Etheridge, 11 Alive News.